and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some back alley Elnox. That's right, we got a, a crazy uh, meme tier Monday, I guess Tuesday deck <laughs> for our last deck of the day. We are combining a couple of awesome cards with some randomness in them. We're combining back alley barkeep when I'm summoned to create uh, in hand a card for from your regions for each back alley barkeep you summon this game. So your first back alley barkeep, you get one random card. Your second one, you get two random cards and so on. And we're combining that with um, Troop of Elnux. <laughs> they don't really, they seem kind of weird to combine together, but of course, Troop of Elnux, if y'all have played for a while, you remember whenever Troop of Elnux was the top 10 cards and Elnux were actually meta. But now it's just for the top six cards, you can get some free Elnux um, if you have Elnux in the top six. All right, so both of those cards, the things that they have in common is that you want a lot of Elnux in your deck for Troop of Elnux. And Barkeep, you want to be able to play a lot of Barkeeps because each Barkeep that you play, um, the next one is better. So we, we are going to be using Parade Electro Rigs to be able to support both of them and be able to put a bunch of uh, copies of either one of those cards into our deck. And then also Counterfeit Copies, same kind of thing where we can um, shuffle more into our deck. So we can just find more. Both of those cards, of course, work really well with the Troop of Elnux to be able to put lots of Elnux in play. But then even just the Barkeeps, um, we can summon some more. All right, so besides that, we have Averroes and Hearthguard. So since we're putting all that, all those allies into our deck, we want to grant them all plus one, plus one. So we got Averroes and Hearthguard. Um, we have War Mother's Call that can also summon stuff from each, you know, each round. You know, it's just our big late game card, especially with Back Alley Barkeep. Keep summoning uh, Back Alley Barkeeps each turn for free with War Mother's Call and fill up our hand uh, with a whole bunch of random spells. Uh, Sejuani, because Sejuani is just amazing. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of... Uh, card advantage with like the Averrosen Sentry, but then we also want the game to go longer. We don't want to just die to aggro decks. That's why we got these avalanches in here. Even though the avalanche can kill Barkeep, um, that's okay. We just want to slow down the opponent and have a longer game because um, you know the more allies that we put in our deck, we want the game to go longer to be able to get to those. All right, so that's what our deck's all about. So we got Back Alley Elnux. <laughs> so this will be pretty sweet. Can do some crazy stuff. Here we go, let's go have some fun. Back alley Elnux. And then of course tomorrow we're gonna have our new um, new patch, patch 1-4, coming tomorrow. And we'll have a bunch of new stuff to do with that patch. All right, well, I mean, it's a good turn four, five, six. <laughs> the problem is we're playing against a deep deck and I don't know if we can wait that long. Let's just shuffle everything. Bull Elnuk is a card you basically always want to put back because you want Bull Elnuk in your deck. You, the best place for Bull Elnuk to be is one of your top six cards for whenever you play Troop of Elnux, but never, you know, because you just want to put in a whole bunch of uh, Bull Elnux for free, but you don't actually want to play them. So I think that's a card we're going to mulligan every time. I expect this to be a really difficult matchup because we're both late game decks, but while we can do some cool stuff, they're, they're more powerful, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just going to draw a card. Okay, I could draw. Pump some stuff up with Omen Hawk. Ugh. I don't have. <clears throat> don't have any of like my. You know, I don't have any Troop of Elnux or Back Alley Bar Keeps. Do I want to just put a bunch of Averrosen Sentries in the deck? Put a bunch of Omen Hawks in the deck? Neither. Maybe neither. Yeah. 
Yes, counterfeit copies only works with what's in hand, but the Electro Rig, I could attack and support with Electro Rig. Now, will copies, copies will make these 4-4s? Four is that correct? Seems like it should. Look out for Reavers. And I'll, all right, so I want to do this first. Oh no, we had a troop of Elnux on top. Because I was gonna say I don't want to actually draw a troop of Elnux. There's one on top. Elnux. Wait, what happened to my troop? Oh, these are just all troops. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes! Yes! So yeah, they must have had a really weak hand, because they didn't even have, like, an ally to play to get the, you know, the 2-1 um, with the Maokai, right? So, like, they must have had just a really weak hand. <laughs> Elnux too strong. And think if I wouldn't have blocked, we actually would have gotten another Elnux in play. Or if I wouldn't have blocked with the, the two one. Okay, parade troop. Not bad. Um, removal, check, and protection for something. We probably don't need that right now. Our deck worked! <laughs> I did not expect to win that game. To be honest, I was not expecting that. It'd be a good time to find a back alley barkeep. Gosh, they're just passing? This is in their hand. I could I could attack for two, but I don't really want to attack for two and then they play something else. I'd rather them just waste all that mana. Hey, there's back alley barkeep. What do we get? A suit up? That's cool. Take me for a spin. Ha ha. A winner is you. Hmm. So I can attack and put a bunch of back alley barkeeps into the deck. Um. That does make, like, Troop of Elnux worse, right? I could just play the troop. We're just going to play the troop first and see what happens. Okay, we get one troop. Substack Sting. I didn't... I, yeah, we did, like, a small um, review of the patch notes. Not... not Nothing, like, too crazy. Basically, the, the patch notes are just awesome, right? Like, like the changes are really good. So, I don't know which one I want to do. I don't know if I want to shuffle Barkeeps or Elnux. I don't know what I want to do. do Elnux. Yeah, I didn't I didn't make like a video for this patch. Um I don't think it's gonna change I don't think it's like as like meta changing and that kind of stuff. I think it's just like some good touch up like around around the edges and everything like that. If you have any any question, you know I'm I'm happy to answer any kind of question and uh if, you know if you, feel free to ask anything about it. Those of y'all on YouTube too, you know, feel free to ask anything about the, the patch, the or, or you know, anything, and I'll answer. Barkeep is a slow card. Yes, it is. It's definitely a, a slow card, but it can it can try and drown out opponents. But yeah, it's slow. Yeah, I do think the new Farron can see play. I like that card. Um. Dang, all these suit ups. A 
I think there's a lot of cool things you can do with that. I mean, it's it's a draw three, right? Like when when you start talking about being a draw three, I mean, it looks it looks pretty good to be honest. Pain is nothing. I think there's a there's just a lot of different ways that you can use uh, the new Captain Farron. What I mean. Honestly, I I used to play Captain Fair and some in just regular old burn decks. And I think you can certainly keep using it there. Or Leave no survivors. Um Yeah, you know, I think it's like that's a pretty decent top end. That's a lot of damage that you're drawing into in that kind of with that kind of deck, like drawing three decimates. Oh, yeah. If you're ahead and the opponent's trying to stabilize. Makes it a lot more difficult to stabilize. Um, with all those decimates. But then also, you know, maybe like a like a Draven Ezreal that uses Draven um, as a way to. It shouldn't be playing that card yet. Yeah, you use, you use Draven as like a way to like create like those free cards that that then you then rummage away and all that kind of stuff. Well, you could just rummage away. Uh, attack. You could also rummage away. Uh, I'm gonna be attacking here. We need to just clear up space. Wait a minute. Where you going? Um, rummage away decimates too. Yeah, Poros, Poros definitely look better. Braum looks a lot better. The thing that, the thing that really makes Braum look good, not only like the one power, of course, but having Braum create a mighty Poro the first time it survives damage, that's, that's really important. So yeah, we we needed our one one to die to just clear clear more room for Troop of Elnox. Yeah, Karma. Yeah, Karma with Farin. Yeah, you could do that too. Um, you know, doubling up those decimates. Sounds pretty awesome. From the strong decks, they only weakened aristocrats. Not necessarily, not, I mean, they did weaken, um, they did weaken Black, Alley, Black Market Merchant. You know, it is a 2-1 now, not a 2-2. That does weaken that deck a little bit. Um... I even care to save Sejuani. Not really. Those can die. Well fought. Ah, we only got one troop. I guess we're only looking at six cards, not ten. But I just I wanted to have enough room. Hmm. Only got one troop though. Kind of scary. Yeah, and that's also true. The yoinked, you know, you're not going to be taking their omen hawk stuff. You're, um, but then again, yoink decks now or nab, nab decks now will not. Nab decks got a little bit stronger because they don't. Um, they don't dig the opponent towards... They don't dig the, the opponent towards, um... Uh, champions anymore. So that's... That's a plus for the nab decks. Braum could be the new Vi. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Braum is looking good. I kind of expected them to give it just one power, but yeah, giving giving Braum one power and letting it create. These old eyes um, still see far and clear. That other thing. 
The homestead. Keep trying. Can't leave until you win. Let him think it's love. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have three hearth guards in here. Yeah, we're playing three Avros in hearth guard. We got War Mother's Call, which we have the twelve mana for. Maybe we draw War Mother's Call. The treasure was in me the whole time. That's a spicy find. Yuck. That looks like a leveled up Twisted Fate to me. Like, I killed two Twisted Fates, but this is the third one, and, and immediately whenever we killed... Immediately whenever we killed one Twisted Fate, they just had another. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking that they were going to do with the Brahmins, just the plus one, but that whole Mighty Poro thing. Real powerful. another twisted fate. I thought we already killed two. Guess not. Guess not. Something for all. They also have to pick a card, so they're drawing four more cards, so. Uh, we have to draw something very good to have a chance. That's probably not it, but we'll see. Great two cards. I don't think those are going to do it. Need to do a little bit more damage. We need three damage, four damage preferably. Seven thirteen. I'm not sure how many pick a cards they've played. I think they've played four pick a cards and just drowned us out. Right, this is a fun game. It's a good game. Uh, it still thinks this is burst. Man, isn't that so sad how they, they said that they were buffing up Iceborne Legacy, but they just killed it? So sad. Stall 
They could potentially draw too many cards. They could mill out. I guess that could happen. Well, Avalanche doesn't do anything now. That's a lot of cards. Ooh, troop. Let's go, troop. They got one card left in their deck. See, you can't you can't just keep cycling Twisted Fate. That doesn't it doesn't Twisted Fate doesn't work to keep cycling. Two reasons: one, because then the beginning of the next turn they have to draw three, so they lose. Two, you know they play stuff. They get they get blue card. That's gonna be the last thing. But no, you can't you can't cast Twisted Fate anymore. Like, it's not like Karma that just makes more stuff in your deck. Twisted Fate doesn't work. In that respect, what are you doing? That's a 12 12. I'm at 12. What? What? Why would the Jinx get the elusive? But also remember, they are drawing two cards a turn. Man, what if I had the... What if this back alley barkeep created the veteran investigator, the two mana card that um, both players draw a card? That would have been great. But there we go, got to, got to Elnuk. Well, at least we got to Elnuk. Oh my gosh, they just passed? We win? They just messed that up? They're out of cards. Dropping the cows. Yeah, it's a shame concede. I mean, we didn't deserve that win, but... We got it. Yeah, they just they just uh win with they really need to put the elusive on the 12 12 just they just did the elusive on the wrong thing gotcha does kill ash but i'm gonna put it back maybe i shouldn't because it does kill ash eh, put it back oh no another troop we don't want to draw another troop I want to get all the cards for free. Counterfeit copies wouldn't be too bad. See the Nebastian border from here. A true Frangiorian welcome. No, they don't pair you with, with somebody of your rank in normals. No, you just get... They just pair you against anybody. You just... It's just normal play mode. You just get randomly paired. Okay, there's copies. That's good for the troop. I think you get the exact same experience in normal and ranked. I don't think there's a difference. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah. 
So we'll try this. And then if they have... Cool. Then if, then if they have something, we'll have thermogenic beam afterwards. And I don't want to do copies right now because I don't want to draw... I don't want copies and then draw the card. So I want to wait. Draw my card first, then copies. And now do this. Oh, we only got one troop. It wasn't even the troop that was created from counterfeit copies. Stay back. Makes sense to Elixir of Iron. I could also not Elixir of Iron to keep more room for another troop of Elnux, but that's probably wishful thinking. Yeah, this attack is playing into Radiant Guardian. That's alright. I have I have a removal spell that kills Radiant Guardian. It's all good. It was enticing just to pass and have them waste all that mana, but their deck is gonna be pretty good the late game, especially like Lux, Unyielding Spirit, that kind of stuff. Like, we should be attacking. Virtue guides me. Strike for justice. And yielding spirit would be rough. Should have just blocked with the sentry. Guess it means that I'm playing Sejuani, not Troop of Elnux next turn. Oh, but Parade Electro Rig. We can shuffle more troops to make this troops even better. So many cards over there. It's pretty scary. Not and ready. Navarosa's name. Okay. It's a fight they want. Hopefully not another Radiant Guardian. Faster than my arrow. That card's also pretty scary. It's just been two so far? Yeah, two out of five. For Ash, level up. So the rummage is for whenever we have like back alley. Just I got one rummage in here. So like if we got back alley bar keeps that are creating too many cards. And like too expensive of cards, we can rummage away. Show me a target. Yeah, we have. I have three Averroes and Hearth cards. Uh, my opponent's deck? No, I don't think. No, my opponent's deck shouldn't have Averroes and Hearth card. We've only seen a Hearth card while. Um, 
Yeah. El Nux. We've only seen Hearthguard while mulliganing. Haven't seen one in a game yet. Magic has no place here. Bringing the Elnux to the party. And we're going to Electro Rig the 4 4 Elnux. 4 4 Troop. Oh, come on. Rude. Oh, the next car was a bull. Very ran out of room anyway. Yeah, we haven't haven't had that, you know, play some Averroes and Hearthguards first and pump up the Elnux in the deck and then bring out some big old cows. Haven't had that yet. Haven't had War Mother's Call yet. These That's some beautiful art, though. Suspicious. All right, damage happen. I'm probably just going to rummage away these two things and draw two new cards. I think they have harsh winds. Very possible. Alright, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. A lot of damage to my own stuff. But we also draw a card. Cold. Just got infinite sentries. Nothing escapes my wall. I guess now they're going to just challenge Sejuani, aren't they? <sighs> yeah, if Troop of Elnux was summoned instead of play, that would be amazing. There's a hearth card. We have seen like we don't have that much card advantage. That's like what our back alley barkeeps are supposed to be doing. Awesome. GG's can't handle the cows. Can't handle the cows. But yeah, War Mother's Call just bringing in a whole bunch of cows each time. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, looks like we're playing against another War Mother's Call deck. Let's 
See if we can get some cattle. I'm gonna keep the barkeep. Ugh. Oh, I, I haven't been doing my Teemo emote before Troop of Elnox. War Mother's Call. Someone for a parade electro rig. It's been a nice time, especially because it would have been a 3 5. Because of the Omen Hawk, that would have been a nice time for just playing an electro rig and then start putting more bar keeps in, you know, into the deck for War Mother's Call. Could have been nice. Brittle Steel. That's not going to do much. All right, so I want Troop of Elnux, Averroes and Hearthguard. Oh, there's the Electro Rig. Okay, okay. We could, we could rig it. We could rig it. I can discard Avalanche and Brittle Steel pretty easily to the Rummage. Those aren't really cards we need. Yes, get more barkeeps. All right, let's go draw some more barkeeps. Nice, we got the, the Hearth Guard. Man, putting a whole bunch more Hearth Guards in the deck with Electro Rig is going to be sweet also. And hopefully the opponent just doesn't kill us, because we're going to be doing some cool things. <laughs> Don't kill us. No. That's like killing us. Uh, do I need a Sejuani so they don't take out my Electro Rig? Let's put more 6-6 Averroes and Hearth Guards into the deck. Let's do that. So remember, in two turns I can cast War Mother's Call for 9 plus 3, so I need to make sure that we're setting that up for 9 plus 3 in two turns. What's the change in the patch you're most excited about? I like the Fizz emote and the Braum change. Those are a couple of good ones. Those are some good choices. I do Stand like both of those as well. I don't know if I'm supposed to thermogenic beam right there. Ooh. What would happen? Like, okay, so wait. What would have happened if I would have Fury to the North this to make it a 10 10 and then attacked? Would we have put 10 10s in, in our deck? Would that have happened? Uh, 
Uh, the change to Petty Officer is big. That That's a big change. I mean, Bilgewater has kind of had a hole at the three mana slot. Um, you know, basically filled with Jaw Hunters and sometimes Slotbot. Uh, but having Petty Officer for that three mana slot is uh, really important. Um, yeah, now that, now that thing's a 3-2. For three mana, getting a three two, and then also a one one, which I think that's kind of how you look at it as, as the baseline. A three two, or not not a one one, sorry, a three two plus a one drop. Um, that's that's a lot of value for and two bodies there for three mana. Um, and with sometimes being, you know, sometimes being a, more powder if you need it to be, or be be some powder if you need it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good way to think about it. It has a hundred percent more life, but it's just so easy to kill things with one health. It's a big difference between one and two health, as I think people will kind of see. People are, I think, uh, the back alley bar keep going from two health to one. I think that is actually a pretty, pretty decent change. All right, so I think we're both setting up War Mother's Call. I think they're going to have War Mother's Call also this turn. I'm going to attack first, get some more back alley bar keeps in the deck. I, refuse. I really I like the Poro changes. I mean, I like I like just basically all the changes. They're all good. Genevieve Elmhart is going to be awesome. War Mother's Call. So they've had two Hearth Guards. I've only had one. But I have a bunch more Hearth Guards and Back Alley Bar Keeps in the deck now. They get champions. All right, I'll, I'll take Omen Hawk. You can have champions. I get Omen Hawk. It's pretty fair. Hmm. Yeah, the the Poro the other the four drop Poro turning into a two drop is really big too. Leave your bags at the door. I don't know how big that Trindamir is going to be, but it's probably going to be really big. So this is doing two to everything. Kind of difficult getting these last six points of damage across. Trigamir is about to level up and be an 11 11. This is normally a 9 9, but it had Avros and Hearthguard. Make it an 11 11. I did think about putting um, Sejuani's ship in here to try to double the power and health of our 
um, of our units, but I thought that was going to be difficult to pull off. Like the plunder part was going to be difficult to pull off. I'm glad I killed that thing right away. Before they could heal. Hey, we just create Troop of Elmux randomly? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Man, they they are three for three getting champions. But our deck's cooler. <laughs> Back alley barkeep created a troop of Elnux, which put in some more big things to block. Oh no! A warrior goes when they are needed. We have two War Mothers calls now. Is yours. Uh, all right. So I'm not going to attack because, and I, I'm just going to pass the turn because they have two War Mothers calls. So like one thing is just going to get destroyed. So we're just going to pass the turn. Could. Could cast this Bloodsworn Pledge right now, but no, I shouldn't play anything because again, at the beginning of my turn, I'm going to get a new thing. So if I if I make the if my board is too big, then I don't get the new thing, and it's probably going to be Avaros and Hearthguard. That's my guess. It's either that or Back Alley Barkeep. It's one of those two. All right, it's a Barkeep. I think it's a 12-12. Why do they have to hit their champion every single time? And then Kindly Tavern Keeper got destroyed? Why couldn't it have been the other way? <laughs> Four out of five times they've hit champions. Couldn't you not do that? Okay, well. Kind of need that to be Avaraz and Hearthgar, but... Um, at least our back alley barkeeps are creating Mighty Poros. <laughs> What's the deal with that? All Mighty Poros. So, uh, you block there. Uh, you block here. You block here. You block here, here, and here. And I take too much damage. So, we're gonna go pump, pump. And I go to one. One sounds good. Hmm. That's not cool. Puts me to negative one. Back to one. Come on, let it happen. No! No, I don't have any more. Just let it happen. Just let me go to one. Come on. No. <laughs> Our back alley barkeeps didn't get us spells to use. So I can't stop that. No. Back alley barkeep, you have to create spells. Or them just not get all champions. There's a, there's a good chance we would have won this game, like 100% honest. I really think that we would have won this game if, like, they put they put the 12 12 turn to mirror in play, and then they put a kindly tavern keeper that just got obliterated because their floor was or their uh, their board was too big. If it was just the other way around, if it would have just been kindly tavern keeper there, and then the 12 12 gets obliterated, the turn to mirror gets obliterated. I honestly think that we could win that game because they're gonna run out of units super fast. Like 
they kind of had to kill me that attack step, to be honest. I think there was a really good chance we won that if it just went... Just those, that little bit was changed. That randomness. Yeah, super close. Also, if if um, on our our side that very last turn, if we didn't hit the five four back alley barkeep, you know, if we would have got a seven seven hearth guard, which there were, which you know we put a bunch of hearth guards in the deck, you know, so if we would have got something that was a little bit bigger to block than the barkeep, that you know, or or that, but basically that's how it needed to happen. We needed to get something small. They needed to have, um, you know, another trendomir basically. <laughs> but oh well. I, th I thought we were going to be winning that. Yeah, our Elnuck Duck is doing pretty good. You know, we are in normal because you, know, you can't even play ranked right now anyway. But we're doing just fine with our Elnuck deck. All right, so my plan right now, we're going to have Averroes and Sentry on turn two. We're going to have uh, Gotcha on turn three because we'll have the one spell mana from turn one that we're not going to use. And so we can kill like a Lucian or whatever we need to on at turn three. Hey, Agent Iowa, thanks for the bits. Thanks for the cheers. Right, and... Hmm. Looks like I, I need to kill this Soul Shepherd. Darn, they figured out how to bark beast. They know how their deck works. Um, and then we'll have Barkeep into Hearthguard into Hearthguard. So that's why I kept kept everything we had a good two three four that's scary I could use a troop of Elnox <laughs> oh our back alley barkeeps are just they have poros on the mind <laughs> we've created so much so many poro guards Yeah, I, I love the how it is weird with the combat going left to right thing. I think it just adds like a cool little element um, to the game. Nice little skill testing element. Well, taking one is less than taking two, so we'll block. I don't want to electro rig shuffle more hearth guards in to play or into my deck. Um, we can go electro rig and Averrosen sentry. Or we can just get a bunch of cards with back alley barkeep and then sentry. I think I don't have a thinking emo. Drink up. Dang, lots of poros. I'll go barkeep plus sentry instead of hearth guard because the good chance they have. The oh, I'm so glad. So it's a good chance they have Hecarim. And Hecarim is not cool. I mean, well, Hecarim is cool, but not, not cool for us. Well, that's also bad. 
<laughs> yeah, we got a couple poros for the snacks. Oh. Well then. My gun does the talk. Unexpected. Stand Whoops. And defend. Look up for oh, I don't have any mana for elixir of iron. No. Taking six damage here? Oh, right, never played. Brr. Well, yeah. oh, just you think I should just just kill the collector with Sejuani? Yeah, maybe we should have just done that. We haven't seen a troop, any Elnux yet. So like drawing a troop of Elnux could be good, giving me a whole bunch of blockers for one card. I honestly thought that was troop of Elnux. I was like, ooh, troop. That's why we need multiple blockers for one card. Block that thing. Everyone's a garden. And that's game. You are cute, and I want to kiss your tiny face, but I will not. Yeah, I should have still never played collector. That's what I should have done. I never played collector. Dealt too much. All right, but still three and two with back alley Elnux. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet deck here. Um, I was really impressed with just like the Elnux stuff with Hearthguard, like just the Elnux stuff with like Electro Rig counterfeit copies did look pretty strong, especially with like Hearthguard and just for all your pump up stuff. Like I was actually pretty impressed with that. Um, back alley Barkeep is like a cool way to, to put a bunch of random cards in your hand, but maybe you don't even need the Barkeeps because we were not getting good random cards. <laughs> Our random cards were pretty rough. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe just we could play, you know, something else. There's lots there's lots and lots of options um, that we could play instead. We can even have some Starlet Seers pump up some stuff. But maybe that could, you know, we'd probably want something with a little bit more card draw uh, if, if you take out Barkeep. Um, but yeah, Elnux, Elnux seemed pretty... Pretty real, pretty real, and also pretty real fun to play as well. Um, hey, Mortimer, what's up? Oh, uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go, GG's. Um, all right, but anyway, that's it here for Back Alley Elnux. So those y'all watching this video later on on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave all those comments, questions, anything like that. I appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.